Hey YouTube, so we're well into the fall season and I'm happy to present to you my fall fragrance picks. Um, when I'm thinking about fall, I'm thinking about uh, wearing some heavy ambers, some spicy orientals, some resinous incense and myrrhs, uh, sweet vanillas, uh, smoky uh, notes, you know, things that would remind me of uh, earth tones, leaves, the ground, just anything that would keep me warm pretty much. Today is actually Thanksgiving Day here in Canada. To my many Canadian th uh, subscribers, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. We celebrated yesterday. Today we spent uh, a day in the woods just hiking and, you know, enjoying nature. So I'm going to start off with giving you my scent of the day, which was uh, Mitsa from Christian Dior's collection Privé. Uh, recently discontinued. Uh, if you shop around, I'm sure you can still find it. Um, Meets up beautiful smoky patchouli based fragrance. Um, a lot of people consider this rose. I do get a lot of rose in here, but to me, this is all about those burning patchouli leaves. Uh, very smoky, very spicy and green with that coriander note, somewhat oily. That rose is going to kick in and it's going to be dry, dusty, somewhat powdery, uh, a little bit green as well. Um, there's going to be some honey in here to keep that rose sweet and some incense to give it some life. And in the base, you're going to get a loud um, amber, sweet labdanum and uh, a smoky vanilla. Oh, this is very smoky, very heavy, very pungent, uh, very beautiful fragrance overall. This is Mitsa from Dior. Um, Dior's very close relative but distant... Uh, Different distant house. This is from uh, Serge Luton's Ombre Saltant. Very similar to Mitsa. Uh, probably not even worth owning both of these, but you know, if you smell them as a whole, they smell very similar to each other. But if you're like me and love picking out the notes, you can you can tell there is quite a bit of a difference. This too also opens up with those burning patchouli leaves to me. Uh, very spicy, exotic spices of uh, bay leaf and and uh, some oregano and and. Uh, coriander so very beautiful very spicy probably a lot louder opening than Mitsa. in the heart you're gonna get some myrrh very smoky and very sweet um followed with that vanilla it's gonna give you the effect of a, a myrrh cookie so it's it gets really sweet in in the base with that myrrh vanilla benzoin and uh ambers so a beautiful fragrance and uh kissing cousins right here Mitsa and ombre sultan honestly if i had to pick one um the opening i love ombre sultan so much and i think it's so much different than uh than the mitza uh, just everything the serge luton's does does i think the the openings are they're, they're first class like nobody can touch them so i don't know as as the rest of the fragrances i really don't know um it's it's it would be flip a coin for me i it would be hard to choose really so that that's all i can say here we have another dior this is eau sauvage parfum also very smoky very resinous very heavy um opens with a big blast of bergamot it's going to give you some sweetness and followed in by some uh, sweet smoke smoky myrrh um along with some some vetiver that's going to give you this uh earthy feel um not quite dirty but yes earthy uh the myrrh, uh, you're going to get some vanilla in the base. It's going to give you the effect of a, again, like a myrrh cookie. I don't know. I keep getting myrrh cookies out of all these myrrh fragrances. Uh, maybe I just like cookies. Um, so, yeah, this is just a stunning uh, fragrance. Uh, you can make a case for one of the best fragrances from the Christian Dior house. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Here we have Ombre Nui from Christian Dior. Uh, a huge based amber fragrance. Uh, I hear lots of people say they don't get amber from this. I get amber twice. Um, in the opening, I get an amber accord of made from that bergamot and pink pepper note. It, it gives me a, a huge amber blast. But in the heart, you're going to get a huge spicy rose in this. Uh, you know, uh, maybe rose petals with some black pepper. And in the base, you're going to get another amber accord. Ambers, vanillas, very sweet, very spicy. Uh, also very resinous, beautiful fall time season, uh, 
fragrance. Very subtle though, so it stays close to the skin. Um, it's not going to project very loud, but it's more for yourself than for other people. Here we have another rose-based fragrance, and this is from the House of Armani, one of my favorite roses. And uh, you know, you can never have enough roses in 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 these. Uh, these fall fall selections. So this is a a rose oud. It's gonna open up very um very sweet, very resinous. Uh, the rose you're gonna get a a a candied like rose. It's gonna get somewhat powdery on you. Um, very woody. I'd I'd say it's a cedar note in the in the base, along with some uh, vanilla, some musks, and uh, some more powders. So. A beautiful rose base fragrance and one of my absolute favorites I've been wearing this so much lately and uh, I look forward to wearing it all all fall long that's rose to Ada B here we have from Chanel this is Coral Mandel one of the exclusives this opens up very earthy again uh, a lot of patchouli but not as smoky as these other two this is more earthy patchouli Along with the patchouli, you're gonna get in the in the heart some orris root, so it's very dirty, very oily. Um, not oily, very earthy. So it's gonna smell just like the earth. Some iris flower. There's some iris in here, um, and the base is gonna get very sweet. It's gonna give you the effect of uh, a chocolate, a white chocolate from that benzoin and vanilla. So that's Coral Mandel, very beautiful fragrance. Here I have for you. A very fresh amber based fragrance this is from Dolce Cabana the one uh, opens up very fresh with that citrus uh, grapefruit and and bergamot gets kind of spicy with uh, with ginger notes and tobacco there's a beautiful uh, fresh tobacco leaf in here um, and in the base is really a fresh uh, amber so this this is something that I'd reach not really for a long work day but more for just uh, you know, doing some grocery shopping or running errands or screwing around with the kids outside, something like that. Nothing too serious, but it is something that I enjoy and I'll, I'll reach for. I've actually worn it a few times already. Here I have another one from Chanel. Not so much earthy, but the uh, opening blast is very harsh, um, very woody, very uh, old school masculine. Um, not so much a rose in here as it would be a rose wood. So that's what it smells like to me. Uh, maybe some lavender in that opening along with a very sweet, sour, bitter, um, a tangerine note. Uh, such a beautiful note like I've never smelled anywhere else, that tangerine. Um, and what else you're gonna get in here? Some vanillas, uh, a very sweet vanilla coming from that ambrette musk. That ambrette gets uh, quite musky and it's not an animalic musk it's plant-based musk so it adds a really nice sweetness to this vanilla um, cinnamon in here to keep it very spicy so that's egoist probably one of my all-time favorite designer fragrances from chanel beautiful stunning egoist here i have from the house of guerlain something very subtle something very gentlemanly a very smooth this is l'instant de guerlain um, Opens up with these very uh, warm citrus notes, but the star of this thing is the the heart. It's very uh, you get a very beautiful tea like note, and uh, it's very comforting, very soothing. This is something that I'd wear, you know, if I went to work for half a day or just lounged around the house. That's how comforting I find it, you know, cuddled up and just watching movies. Um, the base of this, you're gonna get very earthy patchouli notes, along with some cacao, maybe some powder. So just a beautiful fragrance. I uh, I had L'Enfant de Guerlain Extreme. I really couldn't stand it. It was one of my most disliked fragrances I've ever had, and I, I actually swapped it straight up for this, which I enjoy so much more. Um, Lidge, as it's known, beautiful fragrance. Here I have. A polarizing, stunning fragrance from Amouage. This is Journeyman. This is not for everyday use. This is for uh, special occasions. And wow, I gotta say, I think they've put every possible note that would fit in here. Uh, opens up very polarizing, very complex, very, I, I don't have an adjective to describe this. 
Uh, so I get a big spicy blast of neroli and bergamot uh, super spicy i i can't even stress the spice uh, you get szechuan pepper black pepper um neroli and bergamot then you're gonna get some frankincense some incense very resinous somewhat fresh very dark this is a very green fragrance a very oily fragrance i'm gonna call this a fougere because i do get some herb like uh uh, feel to this along with that leather note in the base, which is kind of a throwback to uh, an old-school leather Not so much harsh just uh, just the way that it's it's it, it comes off. So it's not um, a modern leather at all Now the really interesting thing about this fragrance is that Cypriol note is uh, Cypriol is I guess it's a plant uh, it's, it's it's the what you distill from the cypress plant and uh, it gives us a really sharp, um, sour accord, I guess, where it's it's really the star and it's the one thing that really stands out to me and everything else is, is made into that Cypriol note, including the tobacco. I had so much trouble figuring out the tobacco in uh, Journeyman and all along it was because I was looking for the wrong tobacco. I was looking for something sweet, something... Uh, you know, like a pipe tobacco, but no, this is a live, living, green tobacco leaf. So, yeah, it's amazing. Just really something to smell if you can get your hands on Journeyman. Okay, Journeyman. Here we have something earthy. This is from Hermes, and that's Terra de Hermes. Probably not known so much for a fall-based fragrance, but I love to wear this in the in the fall because it does remind me of uh, those earthy notes. This opens up very sharp. It's a very sharp fragrance. I get a beautiful orange note. Don't take it the wrong way. It, it kind of smells like a rotting orange, but in a good way, along with some black pepper, so it gets quite spicy. Um, in the heart, I get this flint note along with this beautiful vetiver that gives it uh, the smell of wet grass and, and dry earth and combined. So it's just a beautiful, stunning, elegant fragrance, uh, pure parfum. Terre de Hermes, amazing for fall. I love to wear it in the spring as well, but we're going to wear it this fall. Here I have, I don't know how I'm going to explain this without getting a little bit nasty. This is Tobacco Oud, Tom Ford, Private Blend. Um, opens up with a beautiful whiskey note, uh, just a stunning whiskey note. This is by far my favorite Tom Ford. Um, right after that whiskey note, you're going to get this loud, harsh uh, smell of poo coming from that Oud. So, yeah, it goes away eventually, and it's not as bad as it sounds, but it's still poo. Ah. Uh, in the heart, you're gonna get some incense, you're gonna get some sweet honey. Uh, in the base, you're gonna get some ambers. So just a really beautiful amber-based fragrance. That's what this is. Uh, tobacco, of course, you're gonna get a very herbal-like tobacco. Not a sweet tobacco, like I thought was gonna be in Journeyman, but a very herbal-like dry tobacco. So this fragrance is quite dry and herbal-like. So it is something that uh, is very different than most tobaccos I've smelled. And I have one more here, last but not least, um, is, I, I, I can't leave this out of my fall fragrance picks. This is uh, Pure Havane from Terry Mugler. Uh, beautiful, I don't wanna say um, immature, but let's call this a playful fragrance. Something very sweet. Uh, Sweet pipe tobacco uh, laced with some cherry, some vanilla, some chocolate, a lot of patchouli in here. Uh, lasts all day. Very sweet, very fun to wear. Uh, compliments nonstop. This is pure Havan, a beauty, my favorite, and uh, probably the only one I wear from Terry Mugler, even though I have several others. Guys, this has been my fall fragrance picks. I would love to know what you guys think of my picks. Um, please leave in the comments below. Let me know what you're wearing this fall. Um, give me some recommendations. And I want to thank you for watching. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.